Well, hello, good people and Eagle fans and 49er fans. Sitting here watching the Houston Texans taking a 13 nothing lead right now and uh, be, beating the Bears. It's been a crazy day in the NFL, and it's been a shocking one for the Dallas Cowboys. It has been completely but ugly for the Dallas Cowboys. This was a stinker. And trying to figure out, is there something to worry about here? Or was this just a fluke? Were we overhyped or we unprepared? What is it about this game? So what we're trying to do is we're trying to go right to the uh, the sources. We're going to the players and we're listening to the interviews afterwards. Um, I, I just listened to Micah Parsons and, you know, he talked about he would have liked to have been in some other positions possibly in things I don't know if that was a thing at the defense that was called or trying to deflect blame or what have you but you know he talked about giving 200 percent and then 100 percent so it was kind of all over the place and I, I think the team is definitely not happy about what happened um, so I want to take a look or a listen to my quarterback Dak Prescott um, here and see what Dak had to say about the performance I have not seen it yet, so I'm going to be watching it with you guys uh, right now myself. In away from you offensively, I mean defensively, did y'all try to press offensively? Did you feel yourself pressing? Um, it's hard to say that we're pressing, but obviously you're trying to play complimentary football and your, your defense is struggling to stop, stop a group. Uh, you want to do your part and, and, and score touchdowns and come back and um, and we weren't able to score touchdowns. I mean, we were able to move the ball uh, up and down the field, but we couldn't score a touchdown, so I can't say that we were, we were pressing necessarily. Um, uh, uh, going from, from last week to this week, as I said, there are some things that we wanted to get better at. We got better at third down this week, but now it's the red zone that uh, I think we score some touchdowns. It makes the defense feel a little bit better, um, and, and it's a whole different feel uh, within the game for both sides of the ball. For the CD early in the first half, it looked like he was opening his. I don't know if it was, a, was that a misconnection. Or you yeah, guys? just just miscommunication. Um, yeah, play that. A play that. Uh, yeah, just completely, just mis miscommunication. Nothing more than that. Um, we'll get it fixed. We'll get it cleaned up and make that. And Dak Todd Archery, these pain. Can you talk about the with the week week nature of this league? Last week, you guys were riding a high in Cleveland, and then to have today is this just the way the league goes? Yeah, I mean, it's the NFL. I talk about each and every week. No games are played on paper. Um, I, as far as riding a high, I, I don't. I know I wasn't personally. I don't think the guys in the locker room necessarily were. I mean, I talked about how much meat we left on the bone offensively. Um, and and that, that's simply why you can't listen to, to other people's opinions and read with you guys You guys, right, respectfully. I mean, uh -huh. yeah, you, you know, y'all may have put, 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 a, put this team on a high more, more than we should have been. And Definitely. now we, we just simply have got to reset. We've got to respond. Uh, we're not going undefeated. You know, I mean, hadn't been done if. Let me stop right there because, see, th this is what's funny is because I, I got all kinds of people coming at me. Yeah, you talking about Super Bowl. I'm like, bro, 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 stop, stop, stop. You know where that shit comes from? That shit comes from the talking heads that were literally telling us that we sucked ass going into the Cleveland game and that we were going to get lit up. And then they turn around after we beat Cleveland and say, well, you know, the Cowboys, are they a Super Bowl team? Are they Super See, y'all the ones that are putting it out here. And, you know, we, we as fools think that the people who are actually putting content out on news, you know, as considered as news, that, 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 that is supposed to be reputable. And people believe that stuff and take that as, oh, well, well you know, Mark Holmes. Mark Holmes ain't said shit. Mark Holmes ain't said shit about us being Super Bowl contenders. Mark Holmes has not said shit about that. What I have said is don't get too excited or too upset about what you see the first month of the season because you really just don't know. You can look around the NFL right now and it's like Jekyll and Hyde. Teams that played great last week look like ass ass today. So go on, Dak. Go on. 50 years, woo surprise. So uh, it's about getting back to it um, and, and finding a way to respond. Uh, to put the best team on the field next week. Nick Harris, forward Star Telegram. Uh, what's your assessment of the run game today? And I know the game kind of got away from the run game, but in the first half, what would be your assessment of it? 
Yeah, once I mean, I've got to watch the tape. Um, like you said, the game kind of got out of, out of hand a little bit there where we are forced to just throw the ball. And a lot of times, I mean, I hand the ball off, I carry out my fake. So I can't tell, you know, if it, if it was the, the back or if it was the line or what it may be. Um, so so I've, after I watch the tape, probably could give you a better assessment. But, um, yeah, when, when the score is that way, you can't continue to run the ball. We had some... We had a drive there, I guess, when the first, or the second half, that, that, that one drive came out. I know it ate up a lot of clock, and you know they get the ball back in the, the third quarter's ending. So um, at that point, you realize, hey, we've got we've to score. We've got to score fast if we, if we want to come back into this thing. Saad, of the athletic deck. Um, um, where did you guys miss Jake the most um, today? Everywhere. Uh, Everywhere, I guess you can say those young tight ends did a good job, though. Simply, they did a good job. Um, but as I said before, throughout the week, Jake's much more than just the tight end on, on Sunday. I mean, he's an aggressor. Um, he brings a physical nature to this group. Uh, he's got a mentality that other guys feed off of that's very contagious. And um, but, but as I said, those other guys did play well. They did their job. They stepped up. They made some plays and um, just, got, just got away from us. Just what were your emotions when Zach went down, and then also when he was able to come back into the game? Yeah, I mean, you're not trying. I'm not trying to think about all that. Uh, when, when he goes down, you know, wishing the best for him, uh, tapped him. Um, but then when he gets right back, you know, he's right back in the huddle. You, you forget, you forget that he was injured, and oh, guy like that's a competitor. He's going to do whatever he can to get back on the field. So, thankful that that he was okay. Yeah. Garrett Podell, CBS Sports, Dak, on the second interception to Matthew where you were throwing a CD. Was that a miscommunication or, or what sort of happened? On no, that? great play by him. Um, we've got another crossing route right there. He did a good job of covering that and playing through that at the same time and uh, running and making that play. Um, so, so, so credit to him. That's on me. Um, can look him off more, I guess, or, you know, get back to that, that first drive uh, in the second window. Um, that, that's one of those. If there's a throw that will eat at me today. It's that one. John. John Michaud with The Athletic, you, you talked uh, after training camp about you know going against the, your defense all the time and how great those battles were back and forth. So as you're sitting there today on the sidelines and the Saints are scoring touchdown after touchdown, six consecutive uh, possessions, how surprising is that to you? Yeah, it's surprising, but it's the NFL. Um, hell, I'm, I'm thinking it'd be nice to be doing that on our side of the ball more than um, I'm worried or critiquing our, our defense. Um, Obviously, that's a good team. I mean, Alvin Kamara has looked, looked damn good. Um, you know, Derek Carr put the ball where he needed to. Uh, that, that offense is rolling right now. I mean, we're two games in, but I'm not naive to the, the, their stats of, you know, or whatever it was, the nine straight, and then they walked into this game and, and continued on that. So, I mean, credit to the, the play caller over there, to that team of coming out, being ready on a noon start. And, um, yeah, it made it tough on our defense, which made it tough on the whole team. So, um, I'm trying to to get there where our offense. Ed. Dak Ed Warder, WFAA. Um, you, you guys have, I don't know, about a third of the roster's new. How interested are you to see how these guys react to this 25-point loss? And how do you set the right example for what that reaction should be? Yeah, I'm confident in the, in, in it, just as you said, because I know I can go in there and set the example of, of how we're going to move forward, how we're going to respond how we're going to approach this week um, and, and understanding that it's a process. I mean, already echo in the locker room, hell, we're not going undefeated. McCarthy, Coach McCarthy said that, like, at the end of the day, that that's, oh, wipe that, wipe this one behind. Um, we're going to learn from it. Can't wipe it until we've learned from it. We build off of it. Uh, but, um, yeah, that, that, that was a good team. They've started fast two, game, two weeks now. Um, you've got to give credit to them. Understand that this is the NFL. Once again, as I said, for these young guys, it's, a message to, to not necessarily listen listen to you know the outside noise or how good people are going to make you um, after one win. Um, that that's something that yeah. I've grown to obviously realize, especially in this organization, when you're playing on national TV um, every week and and you are the Cowboys and the tension that we get is, yeah, w w if you lose, you're down here. If you win, you're way up there. That that none of that really matters. It's about for us trusting the process, trusting one another, responding, and each and every day getting better. And I know we've got the guys in there that, that, that can do that. The coaches and the staff put a lot into just the emotional um, intelligence, I guess you could say, and, and, and um, excited, honestly excited to, to get back to work and, uh, tomorrow and, and turn this page. Calvin. Yeah. Calvin Watkins, Dallas Morning News. After two weeks, how would you assess how you've played? And I asked you that because last week in Cleveland you said you didn't play that well. So after two weeks, how would you assess what you've done? So yeah, I mean, I go off of 
I tell you, my expectations are crazy high and go off of wind, so I'm not going to give you a great, maybe a realistic uh, answer, I guess you can say. Um, I, I'm seeing it well. I'm seeing, seeing it well, putting the ball where I want to. As I said, that one interception is going to, going to get at me um, just because Tyron made a hell of a play, did a good job of playing through one route, getting to the other. Um, but outside of that, uh, Maybe a few more throws that I want back, but as far as seeing the defense getting to the, getting the offense in what I want, uh, in the position and the plays that we want to, um, I feel good about it and confident that that we're going to continue to get better as a team. No, and and, and uh, I am particular. Improvement in the offense this week. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I mean, just talking about last week, wanting to be able to convert uh, more third downs, and I know we did that. We were able to keep the ball, um, had a lot more plays than we did last week, and. That's a testament to that, um, but but we want to score touchdowns. I mean, outside of the big one, the CD, getting the red zone three times, I guess, right? 0-3 in the red zone, and and you're not going to win games that way, yeah, damn sure, not against an offense that's rolling like that. So uh, we got to no. find way, ways to, to, to get, get in the end zone. zone. Mac Angle, what was I told him? I think a lot of observers and whoever watched this game, <clears throat> you're going to say this one looked a lot like the, the, the loss to the Packers in the playoffs. That was a long time ago, but did you see, are those similarities and comparisons fair at all? Uh, I'm not comparing last year, this year. We're talking two completely different teams, um, honestly. Uh, talking a whole different defensive coordinator. You're talking new new players in different positions, particularly on offense. You've got two young rookies playing. Like, mm -hmm. we missed Jake, Jake today, who had three touchdowns in that game. So there's no way to even go back and, and compare those, maybe because yeah, we got beat, got away from us fast, and we we're here at home. But other than that, completely, completely different, separate, and and I, I wouldn't waste my time if if, if I was y'all trying to compare those two. You know, when Henderson Gilmer be Dak, did the defense of the Saints throw anything at you you weren't expecting, or was it just a matter you just weren't hitting on all cylinders today? Yeah, I mean, just didn't convert in the red zone. I think is the biggest one. Um, they, they didn't throw anything else that we weren't ready for. They gave us some looks that, that we're prepared for. Maybe not quite brought the blitz, bluffed out of a couple. We're still able to get some first downs. Um, yeah, but then we got in the red zone. Um, short arm to throw, to throw to Zeke and Ann gets free free in my face. Uh, um, misconnection with CD. Um, boom, the fourth down probably can scramble, trying to, you know, trust in a young tight end, wanting to use his body and put it away from him. That's somebody that I don't have a lot of reps on. You know, I put that one on me. Uh, as I said, probably could have gotten a scramble mode, but just a few plays out there. And as, as I said, if we get in the end zone, I think we're talking a different game and damn sure a different feel to this game. Does a lack of big play mean you have to be perfect? You have a lot of long drives, but I mean, when you don't have a big play, those miscues add up and then you bog down. Yeah, that's a good question. I don't, I don't, I want to say you have to be perfect. Um, everybody's got to do their job and trust their job and understand that's where the big plays come from. Uh, part of it for me, I think maybe it's, I felt like I was at this point last year. I mean, it was a lot later in the year when I did it, but but going back to using my feet more, whether it's scrambling, um, extending the plays to, to look to throw the ball down the field, or maybe just going and getting a couple of yards and getting down. Um, I wouldn't say it's about being perfect, but understanding that I do have that ability, and that is a huge part of our offense, our offense, and um, got to bring it to life, I think. Yeah. I know you said you're excited to get back to work, but after a loss like this, is it kind of a long week until the following Sunday, or how, what's kind of the mentality around uh, after losses like this? No, I mean, I enjoy the process. I, I, I love the process. That's why I love this game. Um, I'll hang with the family today. Uh, Enjoy them, not take that take that for granted by any means. Um, fortunate to get to be a long day of that. Um, got a little daughter and a family who doesn't know I just lost. Um, that helps. Uh, and then just being able to, to enjoy this, enjoy this evening, and then and then turn the page and, and early morning tomorrow, back in there, getting the workout in, getting the guys, making sure everybody approaches the building with the right mindset. Um, no, it, it's fun. I truly enjoy that and, and look forward to it and making sure that, that I lead the right way and, and set the right example. Show on to NWFA. A couple times after those missed chances with CD, I saw you talking to him saying things. What were you, you know, sharing with him or talking to him about after those? Yeah, times? simply just trying to communicate and maybe those misses, maybe the what he saw, what he thought um, versus what I did, and, and this, then honestly just finding a solution. Um, great communicator CD is and. Um, yeah, he, he's, as I've mentioned before, his expectations and standard for our connection for this offense are just as high as mine. So 
Um, what, what, no matter what the route is, uh, we're, we're, neither of us are happy unless it's a perfect, a perfect play, really. Um, and, and so, yeah, it's just about just being more clean. As I said, we missed some time. Everybody knows that. Uh, but, but we have to have those communications to be able to um, substitute for, for the time missed. Okay. With Taysom Hill, whether as okay, so there we have it. Dak Prescott, always the fence rider. He's not going to throw anybody off of the. Uh, <laughs> he's not going to throw anybody under the bus. You know, he's going to accept responsibility and things, and get back to you know basically say I'm the ready game. You know, well, I have to look at film. You know, I'm you know handing off and I'm going through, of course. You know, my fake and everything else. So he's not gonna, he's not gonna give you, you know, finger pointing. He's gonna put the blame anywhere else or anything like that. But you know, I believe they will get to work, and maybe just maybe a loss like this is something to become a wake up call. Um, I'm not gonna look and say that. Uh, they don't have the ability to be good, um, but sometimes you just lose focus. Sometimes you look past, and sometimes, you know, you just think you're better than what you are. You got to play scared and play hungry. And I'm hoping that uh, you know we we've seen some of these games like this before for Cowboys, where people have given up on the season and things, and. It ends up not being the end of the season. So there you have it, good people. Um, going to leave the bottle alone. I'm going to leave Joe Boo's rum alone. And we have uh, the Bears just scored a touchdown before the half here. Uh, only down by three points to the Houston Texans. 13-10. Uh, to 10. And um, it's going to be a rough night tonight. Probably going to cry in my sleep. Have a good one, people. Peace.